And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring to you another Starfield shipbuilding video. Today, we have the Errant coming at ya. And I called the Errant because I was trying to create a small, simple mini ship and I just went, I went astray. I went astray with the Errant path and made this beauty instead. But yes, if you like this build, you can find all the parts that we used in it found in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Now to the build. Let's see what we can do here. Um, let's see if I can select everything in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's working, it's happening. All right, this should be as much as we could possibly get. Can I see something? All right. That's, oh, oh, we're pulling, we're pulling. All right, so there you go, we missed some things. It's fine, it's fine. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, hey. So that's glitched in. We're gonna move these, or double click this. Double click something. I select everything else and move this to the side. Nice. Double click this, select everything else that's not all connected and move this to the side. Sweet. All right, let's start off the middle. We're going to bring over our shipbed 200 landing bay to the front. Bring it front and center. Move over a Hope Tech all in one berth, two by one, right behind it. Underneath this, right in the front is going to be a 100 dp slim docker boom and then on top of this we're going to bring over a hope to control station it's going to be right there so the front of it is going to be a magellan c2 cockpit and as of now it has six vanguard obliterator art projectors it didn't start that way so let's move these other two pieces out it's only going to have like based on the mounts it has it only it will start with two vanguard obliterator auto projectors on it and then we'll move these two other vanguard obliterator auto projectors to these uh weapon mounts right here yes indeed boom all right continuing on the build we'll move over these demo spine um a a demo spine a and demo spine d and it's for orientation then i know we have a bunch of this to go through so we have some items we need glitch for sure. And we are going to start off with the closed flip glitch on this one. So we're going to start, well, before that, let's move in our Hope Tech Radiator, a White Dwarf 3015 engine right behind the um, All One Berth, and then another Hope Tech Radiator. And then we're going to flip glitch this one in this spot right here. All right. And we are going to use the flip glitch to a closed um, snapping point. So yeah, this snapping point is occupied by the radiator, but we're gonna flip glitch this one in anyway. These um, radiators don't have a flip or a variation to go through. So I, the only way to, um, to glitch this into any spot is through a duplication glitch. And then based on the situation that we have this, um, this positioning to be in right now, that'll be very difficult to do. And you can only probably do that with a um, I guess that's not true. Let's just do it. Here we go. I'll show you. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's technically not true. So here, I just move this in, move this in. So we got the two Damos Spine Fs. But for this one, I am going to use a, um, well here, I'll do that first. And then, so I'll move this here because this has one, two, three flips. This one only has one, two. All right, so I'm gonna move this in right here. All right, so rules for the flip glitch in a closed snapping point, because this only has a top and bottom snapping point. One, the module already has to be in work area. Two, you need to just line it up to the snapping point you need to go to. And then three, you need to be able to flip it. So there's two um, options that you can choose when you're flipping here. So move it here. Just get into the, as close to the correct spot as possible. Flip once flip twice then cancel the movement by tapping either escape or tab on the keyboard double click on the rest of the ship that's connected you can see it's not fully connected yet then hit spacebar on the keyboard you'll see things turn up and become green <laughs> it's like turn green <laughs> it's like turn up and then become green then just hit the spacebar or enter on your on your keyboard 
and then it'll have everything be connected. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing, but this time on a controller, select the module by tapping A, bring it over, flip it once, flip it twice by tapping Y two times and hit B to cancel it. Select the rest of the ship or the connected parts that you wanna connect it to by tapping LB, or you can tap RB twice, then tap A to, it's basically, yeah, hit tap A, let things turn green, then hit tap A again. And then you can see that everything is connected by tapping LB. Nice. All right, now let's talk about these guys. So, what's great about this, you can have both of these up here. And what's interesting with this duplicate, we could use the standard duplication glitch because there's this open slot right there, right? These do not have a front or back snapping point. So, what I'm gonna do is select both of these modules. So I'm hitting, I'm holding shift and just dragging my mouse over both of them. For controller, you hit RB on each of them and then hold control and then hit G to duplicate it, else you duplicate down. Perfect. So I duplicated both down um, because, yeah. I mean, and if you want to do it individually too, you can. So let's say, oh, 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 went too far. So if I say, all right, duplicate that one down, perfect. And then um, it creates another snapping point right there. So then you can just duplicate this down as well. Okay, but I'm going to cancel those movements because I'm also going to show you how to do it with a controller. Try to show you with how to do it with controller. Controller, select each module by tapping RB on both of them. Tap Y to duplicate it down. Tap A to accept it. A, so that's your duplication, your standard, your regular duplication glitch. You're not using a buddy to help you out. Cool. Now, what do we have next? We have Stamus Spine D. But wait, I need something to help me out here. I'm gonna bring over a Nova Bracer to get me started. <laughs> it's like, or I could just use the Hope Tech A that I have here anyway. Hope Tech, Hope Tech pipes. Then bring over a um, another set of Hope Tech pipes. Should I do that or should I do the other? Yeah, well, okay, let's just do this first. Bring over the Demo Spine F and flip glitch that one in, boom. Bring over another spine F. Scratch my nose. Boom. Then bring over your Hope Tech Pipes A, then you just variegate, variation glitch it in. So variations so that you're just, for, um, for keyboard, you're just tapping on the arrow key. For um, the controller, you're tapping on the directional pad. So. Yes, yeah, so this doesn't have any flips to it, but it has a variation, a very aesthetic variation. That's all it is. Either the pipes are going through directly or they're having the middle go down. So yeah, bring this one in. So yeah, notice that these, piece do not, these pieces do not have a front or back snapping point, but these guys do. So the, technically the um, snapping point on these Hope Tech pipes are open. So bring it in, variation glitch it in, boom, yeah. All right, to the back of this, we're gonna bring over a um, Hope Tech Pipes and its aft orientation. Underneath it, you have a Skeg A. And then, all right, then you could bring over the Demo Spine F. So yeah, I moved out the Hope Tech Pipes, bring over this, and then bring this back in and try to flip glitch that one in. If not, then you could just use a duplication glitch. There. Oh, wrong side. Oh, I don't need to flip anything in. <laughs> so another way, to, you could just also move these guys in already too. If you want to block the snapping point, you can move over a, the Demo Spine A, Radiator, and Demo Spine A in its aft orientation, and then bring over the Hope Tech Pipes and flip glitch that one in. Boom. Then um, you can move the Hope Tech Pipes temporarily, bring over the Demo Spine D, then bring over the Hope Tech Pipes again, flip glitch that one in. There we go, everybody. Last but not least, we're gonna to have to use a duplication buddy glitch to merge this guy into the White Dwarf 3015 engine. So what I'm gonna do is make a buddy stack. So rules for this is that you need to be able to duplicate the module in the workstation that you are in, or the star yard that you are in. And when you're using any kind of glitch, like I said, like, 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 like you just saw there, it likes to move into a free and, and available open and um, snapping point first. So 
what I'm trying to do is close off the bottom snapping points so that way when I do this glitch it forces it to go up so I'm gonna select the Nova Bracer here then shift click drag oh and for the buddy stack too for the buddy stack it can be any module right as long as it has a top and bottom snapping point so that helps it either move up or down so I'm, I'm gonna select this shift click drag select the top Nova Bracer here on my buddy stack so this is I call this the floating buddy glitch because your your buddies are floating um, and some other glitches like you might have it connected because both of the pieces will work together anyway so yeah just then duplicate it up and it did so I'm going to do that show you how to do it with a controller really quick as well boom select it to select both modules that you want to duplicate by tapping RB on both of them all right then tap Y to duplicate it up tap A to accept it tap LB to make sure everything's connected and everything is all right delete all well i'm gonna keep the buddy stack and just delete these little helpers down here but yeah everything's set next part we're gonna work on will be this guy this is your demo swing a so what i'm gonna do um yeah so to, i'm gonna set these three pieces up next actually so yeah I'm going to remove the Magellan C2 cockpit and the ship bed 200 landing bay. The only reason why is since it has an open snapping point right there, sometimes when I try to do a glitch, it might move down. So I'm going to move this out first. All right. Then bring over the Horizon weapon mount with two Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors attached. Do the same thing on the other side. There you go. Then for these guys, I am going to use the flip glitch to close snapping point. So I'll double click the rest of the ship, hit spacebar, hit enter, or tap A on the controller and then tap A again to accept the movement. Same thing here, flip once, flip twice, cancel the movement, select the rest of the ship, hit spacebar, let, let things turn green, hit enter, and everything's connected. Now I can move over, move back the ship bed 200 landing bay. And then I need to have a hab here because the only thing that a cockpit will attach to will be a hab. And then I'll select the cockpit and use the standard duplication glitch to duplicate it down once. So yeah, the reason why is because I can't put it in there. It's, it's yeah, yeah, it is clipping something. So move it up first, duplication glitch. Oops, duplication glitch. All right. Had to keep my hand off the mouse. It's like, yeah, so when you try to do something like that, sometimes you're, you might accidentally jolt your mouse around or something. And you just gotta make sure that you accept the movement before any movement occurs on, on your mouse or on your cursor. All right, what's next? I think we move over the um, 104DS mag, mag inertial reactor. So yeah, so we'll do this side first. We're gonna bring over a Nova Cowling, flip glitch that one in, standard flip glitch. Then on the back of this, we have a White Dwarf 3015 engine. Yes, we do. On this side, we are going to bring over the Stroud engine mount. This is going to be in its bottom neutral position, right? So that's top, this is bottom, and it should have points on all sides. Bring it in. Oh, that's not it. There, that, that's it. All right, let me go ahead and break this down a little bit. This guy, this guy, this guy. All right, so I'm gonna say, so first thing I'm gonna do is move over the Hope Tech pipes and its aft orientation. Then I'm going to bring over the Hope Tech Pipes A and its mid-orientation. So um, one thing you might consider here is that, okay, I know that all these pieces are going to be connected, but um, like this, this piece does not have a top snapping point. And usually for this like little mount thing I like to do, I usually like to put a Nova Bracer there. But the Nova Bracer, I want, but the, yeah, the Nova Bracer will not have the... Um, the smooth lines that I want. So like Nova Bracer could kind of look like like that. So you can see that. Hold on a second, let me show you. Yeah, it pops out more, right? It pops out more, but with the Hope Tech pipes, 
it has more of a smooth transition. So that's what I wanted. I went for the aesthetic piece this time. So I'm just going to do the variation uh, glitch in a closed snapping point. Well, actually, I don't have to. Here. I, I need to do this anyway. So let's move out the Stroud engine mount. Bring over the Hope Tech pipes in its mid. Uh, I mean, Hope Tech pipes. Yeah. So this is just move it in. And then to create that top snapping point, I'm going to move over a porthole on the bottom of it. And then on the on the porthole, I'm going to move in a Hope Tech riser, and that creates a snapping point for the top, and then merge all those pieces together. Yeah, so I decided to do that versus use a Nova weapon mount because I went for aesthetics. So move this in first, move the porthole on the bottom, remove the Hope Tech pipes, bring this back in, bring back the Hope Tech pipes, use the variation glitch to glitch that back in, then bring over the Stroud weapon mount, flip glat glitch all the way back to where it was. <laughs> Then cancel the movement. So yeah, standard flip glitch there, double click, everything should be good, everything is nice. Bring over the Nova weapon mount to the front of this. <laughs> As I try to click it, this already has four PBO-175 auto Hellion beams attached to it already. Then, then I'm going to move over Horizon weapon mount. So only reason I have this here is to kind of create more, um, well yeah, it's not have such a flat piece right here. I wanted to have a little bit more texture to it. So yeah. Horizon weapon mount or the um, Nova thruster array would be good for it. I mean I guess you could put a porthole. What does a porthole look like here? If that's your flavor, make it happen. Alright. Keep that there. I'm going to bring over the Hope Tech pipes on top first. Bring over the Hope Tech Thruster, bring over one of these guys. Oh, bring over my buddy stack. Bring over my buddy stack, that's what I need. Du uh, duplication buddy stack this down. Boom. Then bring this underneath, because the reason why I'm doing that here is because there's like a little close, there's a little bit of gap here. So I want to bring this in, variation glitch that one in. There you go. So now it's nice and smooth, it's flowing better. Onto the top of this, we're going to bring over a Deimos Spine A in its forward orientation and a Deimos Spine A in its aft orientation. Next up, we have some flip glitches with the Pinpoint 3G landing gear. Connect this to the um, Nova Kaling 2L. Flip glitch that one in. Then the one in the aft orientation. Flip glitch that one in. On this piece, we need to use the flip glitch in a closed um, snapping point. Double click the rest of the ship. Hit spacebar, let things turn green, accept the movement. Oh! That's... I touched my mouse. There you go. <laughs> so finicky. So finicky. Alright. Next up, let's go ahead and break this pe those, these pieces apart. Let's start by flip glitching these guys in. Flip once or twice, cancel. Flip once or twice, cancel. These are your pinpoint 3G landing gear when it's for orientation, when it's aft orientation. Bring over the Nova Kaling 1L. Flip glitch that one in. Bring over the Hope Tech Pipes A. Uh, well, actually, let's do this. Let's bring over the um, Hope Tech Cap A. Then bring over the <clears throat> Hope Tech Pipes A. Variation glitch that one in. Then bring over the Hope Tech Pipes A in front of it. Or Hope Tech pipes, the standard Hope Tech pipes. Flip glitch that one in. Bring over the Titan 450HE3 tank. Flip glitch that one in. And then we have these pieces here where we need to use the flip glitch into a um, closed snapping point. So we need to do three flips here. Or you could do variations. So three variations or three flips, whatever you'd like to do. So bring it over. Flip once, flip twice, flip, flip three times, cancel the movement, get it as close to the snapping point as possible, double click the rest of the ship that's connected, hit space bar, let things turn green, hit enter, and boom, bring the other piece, this goes right under, right with the uh, radiator, flip once, flip twice, flip three times, go back to its original um, orientation, cancel the movement by tapping escape or tab, double click the rest of the ship, hit space bar, let it light up, Hit enter, double click, we're all good. All right, we basically do the same thing on the other side, but 
I'm gonna rush through it real quick. See how, how fast I can do this. All right, I'm gonna bring over R4000 Alpha Grab Drive. Bring over the R um, Nova Calling 2L, flip glitch that one in. Bring over the, um, where's the engine? White Dwarf 3015 engine. Bring over the Stroud engine weapon mount. Bring over the Help Tech Pipe Sims aft orientation. Remove the engine mount. Bring over the Help Tech Pipes um, A in its mid orientation. Or, I mean, it's only mid. So yeah, then bring over the porthole in the bottom orientation. Remove the Help Tech Pipes. Bring back the, oh, bring up, bring on top of the um, porthole bottom. The Hope Tech Riser B, then bring back the Hope Tech Pipes A, variation glitch that one in, bring over the Hope uh, Stroud engine mount, flip glitch, flip glitch this one back in, boom, bring over Horizon weapon mount, <clears throat> remove the Hope Tech thruster, we have additional pieces here, alright, so bring over the Nova weapon mount with two Exterminator 95 MEV auto Helion beams attached to it, move out the Exterminator 95 um, Auto Hellion Beam here, bring over, there's another set, there's another set, yeah, Hope Tech Pipes, bring it up top, bring over the um, Nova Wing, actually you don't need this, well, actually I do, <laughs> alright, bring this here first, then, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the Nova Cowling, move over the Nova Cowling, bring over the Demo Swing A, Boom, bring back the Nova Cowling, flip glitch that one in. Then I could use the standard duplication glitch to move this down. Delete this guy. Oh man, I could have used the flip glitch too. Flip glitch or... <laughs> flip glitch or duplication glitch, whatever you like to do. Then you could use the Exterminator 95 MEV Auto Helion Beam. Auto Helion Beam, bring it home. Bring this, oh I need... So I can't use this as a glitch anymore because it's currently being obstructed by the, the auto hellion beam here and if i put the the thruster in first the like I, I won't be able to bring the auto hellion beam back in so i'm going to bring up my buddy stack here bring this guy to the bottom or actually i'm going to uh, bring it to its final resting or final resting spot final spot here variation glitch that one in then bring the nova bracer under it Bring the Hope Tech Thruster underneath that, connect it there. Right, select the Hope Tech Thruster, shift click drag, duplication buddy glitch time. Bring it up, oop, ah, my mouse moved. <laughs> keep, keep your hand off the mouse. All right, there you go. Then we have our Pema Spine A's fore and aft orientation. Bring it on top of the mount. Bring over your landing gear pieces. Um, flip glitch that one in there, flip the other, flip glitch the other one there, then we have this section right here, flip glitch this piece in, flip glitch this piece in, bring over the Nova Calling 1L, flip glitch that one in, bring over the Hope Tech Cap A, just bring it in, Hope Tech Pipes, variation glitch that one in, Hope Tech Pipes over here, Flip glitch that one in, then Titan 450H E3 tank, flip glitch that one in, and then the final piece is going to be the Hope Tech Cap A. Bring it into its correct spot, flip glitch in a close, oops, flip glitch in a close snapping point position, cancel the movement, select the rest of the ship, hit space bar, let something turn green, hit enter. Double check. Oh, so I guess something else needed to be there. All right. So I guess something else was out of place, but that's that's fine. That's fine. We can connect them. We can connect them. And that is your errand. Let's go take a tour. Hey. I really like having all the um, Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors like surrounding the cockpit. So yeah, th in this build I wanted to go with the whole, let's have all the weapon, like the whole weapon set be in one specific location. So, it's cool. All right, here we are everybody. Let's go take the tour. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Errant. 
an example of when I didn't go the right path. Here we are in the Hope Tech um, All One Berth. There's our docker right here that, that goes up into the control station. We have all this stuff. I'm gonna actually sleep for one hour because <laughs> I'm not sure if I reset everything. All right, and then we're gonna go up. Oh, and here is our me. control station. Was that your stomach or mine? Did you need something? Day, huh? Huh, everyone's there. Yeah, the way you handle things. And here's the cockpit. Hey, let's go ahead and take a seat. And don't forget, everybody, if you want to find all... Oh, let's put on our fun battle music first. But yes, if you want to find all the parts to be used in this build, you can find it in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey! All right, make sure our energy is distributed the way we want it to. That's pretty good, so here we go. We have our Vanguard Obliterate Auto Projectors, PV-0175 Auto Helion Beams, and our Exterminator 95 MEV Auto Helion Beams over there. Okay, look at how the back looks. I like that look. So yeah, oh, another thing that I wanted, I, I forgot to mention, is I really liked being able, like, there's one part where it said I wanted to hide these legs. I actually really like showing these legs from the um, the landing gear here. So I really like how that turned out. I was, I was planning to cover this up at one point, but then I looked at it and like, no, actually, that's really neat. That's really neat to me. All right, let's go take this bad boy to Cricks. Let's take it to the key. Let's go to battle, everybody. Let's put some energy into our grab drives. And while we do that, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey! All right, peeps. Let's make sure our weapons are loaded up. Get tired of that. I want to take that. I want him. I want him. Boosting away. I see you. Oh! <laughs> I hit the wrong button, everybody. Hold on. Hold on. We're, we're okay. We're okay. While we're waiting, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> are, we, are we okay? Are we, are we okay? Like I'm just boosting away. Alright, there we go. We're safe. We're safe. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Alright, let's go to Serpentus. Let's go here. A chance for people to show up right away on that one. And while we grab the drive away, don't forget. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Debris! Debris! Oh! <laughs> you face some maneuvers! All right, one more and we'll call it a video. Let's find some hostile activity. I see you, hostile activity. Crashes are up. Oh, 
Wait, was that it? Oh, there it is. That's much far. Bust, you're busting. He was boosting. He was boosting. And that, my friends, is your or the errands. If once again you want to find all the parts be used in this build, you can find it in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's everything does help out. Beyond that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day, and we'll see you all next time. Peace. And thank you so much for all the love and support. As always, without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you all next time, y'all. Peace.